Hi, friends. It's Terry Stewart, Independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, located, located in Central Maryland in Severna Park. Welcome to my Stamping is Fun channel and this edition of Sweet of the Month, which features hand penned. I have another hand penned project that I'd love to share with you. So let's get started. So the hand pen suite includes the hand pen petals stamp set, the penned flowers dies, and the hand penned DSP, beautiful, beautiful papers that we're using today. Uh, florals on one side, and then patterns, lovely patterns on the other side. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors and patterns. As well as genial gems. Today I'm using the, just the stamp set and the DSP. So this is our project for today. As I said, it uses the hand pen DSP. So this is one side of the um, paper and then we're showing the back side, which is macaron, mint macaron. So the mint macaron base, uh, we have a layer of cinnamon cider and then our DSP. I've also used the double oval punch for this element. So for my customers who ordered the suite, or ordered a bundle and added, uh, that came to an order of $50 or more, you would have gotten a kit in the mail uh, that included a card base, an insert, and the lay front layers, the ribbon, as well as the double oval punches. Now I'm gonna show you how I, I made those punches. Um, so let's get started. So I'm gonna do my stamping first, the hand, hand pen petals lovely floral images, beautiful fonts and sentiments that are in this set. I'm going to be using anything as possible. When I open my stamp set, you'll see I have my images are sitting on the case and behind them are the sentiments and images. So it's very easy to find the sentiment I want, uh, easy to take them in and out and easy to find if I'm missing one and I need to go track it down on a block. So I'm gonna be using this anything as a possible sentiment as well as a floral image for the inside of my card. So this is my C block and I'm going to pick up my image on my block. And then I'll bring in my E block to pick up this larger floral image. Now I chose this one from the stamp set since it seems to be similar to the ones that are in the piece of DSP I'm going to be using. First, I'm going to use a scrap of white to stamp on and then punch with my double oval punch. So using my sentiment and my memento black ink, I'm going to stamp on my scrap of white and then punch that out using my double oval punch. I love this punch because it makes it easy to layer uh, sentiments. So there's my white layer and then using garden green, I'm going to do the scalloped oval which will layer And I'm also going to stamp on the inside of my card. I'm going to ink up my image and place that on the bottom left. And while I have my ink out, I'm going to also stamp on my envelope just to carry the theme from the inside to the outside of the card. And that is all the stamping for this card. I'm going to burnish my card base. Now this is a half a sheet of cardstock that was scored in half and then I burnished it. So check out my blog, stampinghair.blogspot.com for all the measurements, both imperial and metric. So the front of my card 
has a layer of cinnamon cider. And this is the first layer. For Imperial, it's four by five and a quarter inches. For metric, it's 10 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters. And then we have a layer of DSP, which is just one layer down. So this would be a second layer. For Imperial, it's three and three quarters by five. And for our metric people, it's 9.5 by 13.9 centimeters. Remember, check out my blog in the description below to go to that blog post. Now we will have to cut this piece of DSP. So on the long side, we're gonna cut at Imperial at three inches. And for the metric, that would be eight centimeters. So I'm gonna make one cut and then I'm gonna rotate my DSP and place it at one and a half inches and metric that would be four centimeters on the short side. So if we can line these up and put them together, then we can just uh, make this cut. If you aren't so steady, you could use a sticky note to hold them together, but I think I can do this. I butted them up pretty closely. There we go. And then I'm gonna cut them like that. So now we have four pieces of DSP. These get layered on our front. And you can mix and match. So if we want this one up here, and then we can turn this one over here, and then this, that. And I think I'm gonna rotate that. So that's how the card front, and then you're gonna have a, a very um, close border. So if you dry fit these out, and then you can see um, where to glue them down. So I think pretty happy with how this looks right now. Okay. So then with my liquid glue, I will adhere these DSP pieces. And I'm gonna keep that narrow border around the, the edges. So, and continue around to all pieces are adhered. So I wanna line these two edges up and so. And then adhere our final piece to the card front. I also want to adhere my oval punch to its layer. Oh, I'm adding a bit of metallic edge ribbon to bring a bit, bit of silver or bling into this card. And I'm just gonna wrap it around and tie a knot on the left hand side. Then snip off the ends with my snips. And I will use my dimensionals to put behind this stamped image. For my insert from the inside of my car, I'll be adhering that down with my liquid glue. Card front next, again with my liquid glue. Put some on that ribbon to hold it in place. And 
And I'm centering this left, right, top, and bottom. And adding my sentiment next. Moving all these dimensional covers and then placing it right over the ribbon. Thank you so much for joining me. Check out my blog for more details about this card or information about Suite of the Month. The link to my blog is in the description below. Remember, subscribe to my channel so I can bring you even more fun projects. As always, stamping is fun. See you next time. Bye.